All right. Welcome back to Dog Talk and Coffee with me, Richard Hines. I am your dog training expert of everything dog training, puppy training, obedience training, fixing aggressive dogs, training protection dogs, service dogs, tricks, anything that has to do with dog training, I am your expert. So today I'm going to be going over how to do a down in motion. A down in motion is when you are walking and you tell your dog down and they just drop and you keep walking without hesitating, without stopping your walk. Let's go. Down. This has been something I've been asked a lot also over the years, so I'm going to bring it to light here and show you how to do it. It is not hard to do, it just takes proper technique. Now, pre this though, you really should have a great down command already in front of you, out in front of you, that if you say down without bending over, right, or putting a treat down, if you just go down, the dog should drop into a down with no hesitation so we know that your dog has a very good, great, fluent down command. Okay, so preferably before you start this, it will make this so much easier and very quick to teach if you already have a great down command on your dog. Now, if you do not have a great down command on your dog already, this is the video to go to. I have two. One is completely positive, and the other one is positive with e-collar work attached. So, either of these will teach you what you need to know to have a great down command before you start this, okay? So, how do we do this? So I'm gonna show you here. This was filmed a few weeks ago and this dog has a phenomenal down already. So, this is going to take us pretty much one session to two sessions to get this lightning fast and really well executed. Okay? So here you're going to see Michael with his Dutch Shepherd and he's going to start walking. We have food in that left hand of his holding it up in the air as he's healing her when he's ready out of nowhere he's gonna go down and push his hand fast all the way down to the ground okay to get the dog to go drop and deep into the floor all right don't worry about her head Puts. right yes. Puts. right yes. This causes speed and gravity into the floor, right? Making the end result of a down very fast and heavy into the ground. Puts. Yes. Now, in the beginning, when you do this, you don't keep walking, okay? So I have him push his hand down keep the food in his hand and just take a step or two around her front and then face her. Push. Push. Yes. To cut off any moving forward on her. 
Hut! Yes! Hut! Yes! Right, and so what you do now is with her. This is going to be different right now, the first step, than we did with Rebel the, uh, Riptide at the end. Yeah. This has to be a plot and a turn in front to block off any moving activity. Yes. Right, because here's the complication of this. When dogs know heel really well, like she does, and they're so ingrained to following that leg always everywhere, the moment that you start to drop them, and there's nothing there to stop them, their instant nature is to continue, they go down, and then they right away jump up and go to follow the leg and never let you get away from them. Oh, yes. So this is the biggest problem that everybody goes through teaching a down in motion, okay? So this is why we're doing all the way to the floor in the beginning and then just a step or two and turning and cutting her off and feeding. And feed between her legs on the ground so she eats down here. Yes. Digging herself into the ground, right? Making that the association Pushing into the ground and eating into the ground makes very fast into the ground end games. Now, once we have that a few times going, we start to spread the game a little bit. Okay? So now he'll start to go and he's going to less drastically put his hand all the way to the floor and just go plot and put a push and she'll go down. Right. Good. And then you feed. Yes. See how that was lightning fast. And now what he's gonna do is throw the food between her legs Right, so she's got to eat out of the ground while he continues to move a little bit away from her. Yes. Good. Yeah, it's very good. It's not exactly marked that well. Like right, exactly. Yeah, if you can do that, perfect. I don't have that coordination. Yes. And then we do it again like that, right? Yes. Right. See how fast that goddamn plots? Now the next one, what you're gonna do is, now we had a problem yesterday with a little bit of a jog. Yeah. So I add a little bit of a slowness to it. Plot! Yes, I throw the food. Plot! Yes. Plot! Yes. Good. Good. Shield. Push. Plot! and we get beautiful execution of it. So this took one session to do well. And that is because she already had a phenomenal down command. So just keep that in mind. Your prerequisite should be to have a great down command with no hand help. You should just be able to go down with your no hands, no leaning over the body, no down, that, none of that stuff. Down, boom, and the dog hits. Down. Fluency. That is gonna make this a piece of cake. And this took one session how to teach her how to drop while he's moving and in motion. And my golden retriever, here I've shown him YouTube, no food, no not, this is just walking, I see down, he drops. Let's go. Down. Let's go. Down. And now it's no food, the end result, 
of after a few days, he just drops into it while I keep going. So there is the down in motion. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. I am Richard Hines, your dog training expert on everything dog training. Till next time, see you then.